In this session, let's take up two small programs. I'll tell you how to write those programs and how it actually works. The first one I'd like to take up is write a C++ program that reads two values x and y exchanges its contents and prints the output prints both the numbers right so this is basically a program which is going to do a swapping or interchanging or exchanging of two values which are inside two variables basically what we are supposed to do is we have to take two variables right a and b or x and y right fine right? and now we are asked to put the values that reads two values means the user has to supply the values let's say the user gives the values as 13 and 15 right now we have to exchange the contents of these two variables that is once the exchange is done after that these variables x and y x should have 15 and y should have 13 fine so after exchanging the contents x should print x uh, when we print x it should print 15 and when we print the value of y it should print 13 fine so this is called swapping or interchanging or exchanging the contents of two variables right now let's see how to write this program hash include iostream.h int main right first of all we need two variables so here I'm going to take two variables let's call them num1 and num2 so both are integers I can take it in the same line like this okay now we want the user to give the values we are not going to assign the values ourselves we are going to ask the user to enter the values so here i am prompting the user with the cout statement please enter the value for the first uh, please enter the value for the first variable or uh, let's say for num1 right or you can write please enter the first number right now whatever the user enters that is to be taken in this variable num1 so that is c in num1 so whatever the user uh, keys in through his keyboard that will go into the variable num1 and this is c out again please enter the value for num2 fine that is taken into so semicolon at the end there c in num2 fine so now we have taken the values from the user so now i have got two variables num1 and num2 right this is num1 and this is num2 let's say the user entered 20 here and the user entered 28 here fine now after this the swapping has to be done now for doing the swapping or the exchanging now see I'll put a comment entry here exchanging the contents I'll take one temporary variable so another integer variable is created now which is called temp right this is the variable temp 
Now what we do here is, first of all we say temp is equal to num1. So now what happens? When I say temp is equal to num1, temp gets the value which is there in num1 which is 20. Right? After that we say num1 is equal to num2. So now what happens? What, what does num2 have? have num2 has 28 so now this num1 becomes equal to 28 because I have written num1 is equal to num2 finally I'll write num2 is equal to temp num2 is equal to temp so what is there in temp 20 so num2 will get the value 20 now so now the exchange is done right initially it was 20 28 now before exchanging the contents we can give two c out statements here after this c in num2 i'll write it in the same line here c out num1 and then and then c out num2 and then I'm writing in the same line because I don't have the space below that you can write in separate lines right now once the this part this part in temp temp is equal to num1 num1 is equal to num2 num2 is equal to temp this is where the exchanging of the contents are taking place and after that here I can write see out values of num1 or I can put it like this value of num1 after exchange is equal to close the double quotes and then print num1 here and then give a end in statement same way you write c out value of num2 after exchange is equal to close this and this is num2 and end in and then finally you say a return 0 and then close the main method so this is how we do the exchanging of the contents in two variables this is a very important program which will be uh, which will be doing when we take up functions also using functions but the swapping of two uh, the values inside two variables that you should know how to do and how it actually works right now one more uh, small program I want to take up which is like this write a C++ program to accept the marks of five let's say three subjects and print the average marks okay now how will we do this hash include iostream.h and here i have int main and now see i want to accept the marks for three subjects so i need three integer variables let's say sub1 subject2 that is sub2 and sub3 and i also need to total them and I also have to find out the average average can be in uh, decimals also so I take it as float avg right okay hmm. in fact if you want you can take all these as uh, float because at times the marks can be like 89.5 58.5 something like that so it's better to take everything as a float so I'll take here everything as float float sub 1 sub 2 sub 3 from uh, total like this right okay now we have to accept the marks right see in enter the marks in the first subject and L okay then see in this is sub 1 same way you do you have to do for all the three subjects C 
second subject right and then and here I write C in sub 2 and then C out enter the marks and third subject C in sub 3 now the total so what is total total is sub 1 plus sub 2 plus sub 3 like this so here I have the total and I have to find out the average marks so here I write AVG is equal to total divided by 3 right 3 subjects and finally we can print this see out the total marks is equal to here I write total and then end in and then see out the average marks is equal to ABG that is the variable right and then end in like this right so this is again one simple program where I have used uh, the integer variables and uh, the basic arithmetic operator here which is here I have used the arithmetic operator and I have used the division operator here basically right so this program is uh, this program asks the user to input the marks in three subjects and prints the average marks if we want we can calculate the percentage also inside this so you have the total with you so if I have one more variable called float percentage in the same line I can declare it if I want if I have not declared it earlier we can do it like this float purse is equal to <coughs> total divided by 300 now it will be the maximum marks let's say is 300 right 300 in 200 so this will give me the percentage right so this way we can do small programs so I have shown you how to write a program for swapping the values of uh, two variables and this is one small program where we have calculated the average and percentage of the marks entered by the user so with that I come to the end of this session bye